Today I'll be presenting on our celiac disease prospective birth cohort study. It's an international study called the CDGEM study. It stands for the Celiac Disease Genomic Environmental Microbiome and Metabolomic Study. In this study, we're taking an approach where we recruit infants less than six months of age, sometimes in the womb, and we follow them for five to 10 years. We collect a ton of information. So we're collecting stool, we're collecting blood, and we're collecting a lot of different clinical data. And we're following these children who are at risk of celiac disease, meaning they have a first degree family member with celiac disease. So we know that they're at a much higher risk of developing celiac disease and we expect 15 to 20 percent of these 500 children that we're following to develop celiac disease in the first five years. We've studied a number of different factors and the goal is to try and predict celiac disease so we can someday prevent it. We've already started to look at how the microbiome um, changes in children that develop celiac disease from birth we're also looking at how the metabolome or the metabolites secreted by the microbiome change again in these children before they develop celiac disease. Other markers of interest are looking at intestinal permeability and we have found that there's an increased intestinal permeability even 18 months before disease onset. We've also found other markers such as IgG deamidated gliadin peptide that is increased in children that go on to develop celiac disease nine months before they de develop disease. So we can already see from this cohort that's still ongoing that we see alterations in the microbiome, the metabolome, intestinal permeability, and we can use markers um, months before these children develop celiac disease to predict who will develop celiac disease. The goal of this work is to take all of these different aspects that we're studying, again, the microbiome, the metabolome, the virome, the proteome, the clinical data, and put it all together and use artificial intelligence to combine all of these different omic technologies and clinical data to try and understand why some children who are at risk of celiac disease go on to develop it and others do not. And we can try to understand and use AI to try and identify who will develop celiac disease you know, months um, before they do so that we can develop personalized pre and probiotics to intervene and prevent disease.